Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing tutorial. Today we're checking out these amazing animations, app animations made inside Framer for Web. And by the way guys, Framer for Web is now completely free. So you can quickly sign up and let's get started with this tutorial. By the way, I do a lot of giveaways and stuff like that on my Instagram. So go check out at Puneet Chavla official on Instagram and follow me there. So once you get onto Framer, once you sign up, you'll see a screen like this. And here, right here, you have two options. You can either begin with this new option here, which basically creates a new project, or you can start by importing from your Figma or Sketch files. It might take a second or two to import, but once it does, as you can see, we have, we have the Figma design here in Framer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate one of these screens for the first animation and I will basically delete whatever I have here. So one by one, I'll just delete all the elements here. Once you have a blank screen here, that'll be fine. What I will do now is copy all these elements. These are basically cards. It can be anything. I'll give the Figma file down in the description. So if you want to access that, you can do that as well. All I need to do now is basically, I will basically duplicate or copy these elements right here and group all of them together by clicking right click and say, add frame. That's about it. And as you can see, a frame has been created around it. And to make sure that the frame doesn't have these white, weird looking edges here, what I will do is I will basically now click on this frame and on the right, there is something called radius. I'll click on this and probably select something like 24 pixels. And as you can see, the white edges has now gone. And I will do the exact same for all three elements until I have three artboards or three frames in this case. And that is about it. Now, once you have this one empty page and these three cards laid out, all you need to do now is, is to create something called a page to enable pagination. So on the top, we have this page enabler here. I will click on this. And as you can see, the cursor has changed. I will now create a rectangle right about here and I will try to get the same size as these, these other rectangles here. I can of course adjust it. Uh, what I'll do is just pick up the height and width from here for this inner rectangle right here. And I'll basically do that. Once I've got the size right, I will place it right in the center and that is about it. Now here, right next to the rectangle, I have these little circles. I will drag this circle out to first of all the first frame, which is this red frame. Then I will drag this circle again out to the second one right here. And I will do the same for the third one and so on and so forth, depending on how many screens or, or frames you have. Now, once you've done that, if I have this frame selected and I'll see this option right here on the right called page. Inside this, I have many options. I have the direction of scroll. I have the lock, that means how many accesses should there be. Uh, I have width, I have height, I have gap, I have padding and so many other options. For this case, what I'll do is I will activate a few options. I will activate dragging, so make sure dragging is on. Wheel scroll I'll turn off and effect under effect what I'll do is I'll change it from none to cube. You can choose any one of these right here, but I'll choose cube for this case. I can add or adjust anything from here. I can adjust the values. I can adjust the positioning and so on and so forth. Once I'm done with this, I'll click on this first artboard right here. And on the top right, there's something called preview. This will basically open up a preview like this. And I will basically, I can expand this preview so that it is now bigger so that you guys can view. And if I just scroll like this, Ooh, see how it turns around like a cube. Of course, you can obviously change the direction which in which this flows. You can ch change from up to down or left to right, whatever you like. And you can change so many other things. You can add momentum and things like that. See, see with momentum, it basically speeds up or slows down at the end, which is really, really cool. Now that was a simple experiment. The next experiment, I will just duplicate this artboard again, and I will remove all these elements from inside this. I will basically change the color of the artboard by going to the right here and changing fill from purple to complete white. I can quickly add text by saying T, uh, just like this, and I'll say lorem ipsum, 
dollar. Once I've typed in a bunch of gibberish or whatever you want to add here, you can even add images and stuff like that. What I'll do now is drag this content out from here to the right here. And what I'll do is duplicate this artboard or this frame to the right so that I have this text inside this artboard just like this. Depending on the number of pages you want it to flip through, what you can do is just duplicate this. I'm just gonna duplicate it twice or thrice. And that is about it. You can add images, you can add text, whatever you like, you can add here. Now for this one, we will use a small plugin inside Framer itself. So if I go to insert, there will have I will have this search bar right here. So in this case, what I need to say is say pagination. Just type in pagination. It might take a second or two to load. And in here, there's this pink colored circle which says pagination 3.8 thousand installs. I'll click on this and I'll say install right here. It might take a second or two. I might even favorite this if I like this. What's, once it is installed, just click on show and it will show it to you in the library right here. So just click on this uh, enter button right here. Once you have done that, as you can see, this is right now, it's completely black, but we will be changing that just in a moment. Here on the right, what I want to do is select a few options. So rather than saying page type page, I will click on flip. Once I've selected that, I will click orientation horizontal. We can do vertical as well uncut pages and you know what I'll do true for this animation you can increase or decrease I want more animation so I'll increase it uh, you can change angle opacity perspective maybe change perspective to maybe a higher number so that it looks a little more three-dimensional as well you can choose any other option as well in this case I'll leave everything as it is just like before we have these little circles on the right of this artboard I'll drag them to the first artboard then I'll drag the same circles to the second artboard, then the same circles to the third artboard. Now I'll click on this artboard and just, and just as we did before, I can click on preview and right here it will load up this screen. Once it's loaded up, you can just drag and as you can see, it drags over like a real life page or as if you were flipping through a book. And this is endless. This is infinite. You can adjust that in the settings later, but you can basically flip through the book back and forth and it looks absolutely amazing, guys. I hope you guys like that. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click on that bell icon. It really helps my channel grow. And also click that like button if you like this video. I will see you guys every Monday and Thursday, same time, same place. God bless.